George Russell goes into the first turn and George Russell takes the lead on the Sakia Grand Prix. I don't know what, what happened, but I had, I think, probably a two and a half second gap already. Russell's now going to have a go at him. He's got the inside line at turn seven and he goes past his teammate. That was committed. It was brave. It was brilliant. It was probably the best overtake I've ever done in Formula One, so that was a pretty special moment. Yeah, I'm the garage. Uh, I went the opposite way by error. You probably saw that. So I'll probably start in B bow. 10th, I would go for. Start at 10, okay. And set that to 53, yeah? Exactly, yep. Yeah, probably. You probably thought I was nuts, didn't you, in the garage? No more than normal. Good stuff. And last car approaching the grid. It was my first ever F1 race lining up with no one. In front of me, obviously I had a valve on my left. But you got such a clear run into turn one and obviously on the gas and lights out. And I, just, I made a good launch. I looked in my mirrors and I saw Max was behind, but it was just all about breaking at the same point, if not slightly later than Valtteri, and running all the way to the edge of the track to make sure that he couldn't go around the outside of me. George Russell takes the lead on the Sakia Grand Prix. Valtteri Bottas is second and gets all out of shape coming out of turn two. And I remember coming out of this corner, looking in my mirror on the right hand side and just seeing that I was miles ahead. I don't know what, what happened, but I had, I think, probably a two and a half second gap already. So I think here I made a good launch, but I didn't see Max directly behind, so I just pulled over to the right a little bit to to cover from him and as I said running up wide and then as I went through the left I think Valtteri had this big moment and suddenly through the right I look at my mirror and I just had this big gap behind me so yeah here we see it from Valtteri here so he comes over to try and cover me but I was already alongside him and I think he goes in deep trying to break later on me but I just ran a bit wide and made sure I couldn't do anything and then he had a massive moment he did really well keeping that on the track and then suddenly the safety car came out so I was like oh yeah you know that was <laughs> that was pretty annoying so safety car safety car staying out keep the delta positive keep the delta positive just good brake magic on so yeah we see that there were so many different procedures on the Mercedes car compared to the the Williams they obviously have a DAS system which I was still getting used to, didn't really know when to use it in what scenarios. So you're just picking up the safety car now. Right, please advise what I need to do in the safety car. So just the DAS on straights rather than in corners. And just keep on top of the brakes, remember, not light pressure. I'll just follow your lead, mate. Whatever you want. Yeah, no sweat. Bono, which is obviously Lewis's engineer, obviously been working with Lewis for so long. And Lewis is so ingrained into this car. You know, it's just second nature. But for me, I was like, right, just, just tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. I, I still, there were so many different things I had to learn. So that was um, a bit of a challenge, but I felt comfortable, to be honest. I felt in a good spot. Break balance advice for turn one at the restart. Yeah, we're recommending a 56, 56. Just to confirm, overtake button is back right. Back right. And yes, overtake top right hand side at the back. But it was so interesting for me, it just felt normal. You know, just getting into the lead, didn't feel different, didn't feel like any other F1 race. It just felt felt like everything I've been doing my whole life, which is just competing to, to get into the lead, to fight for victories. And like any race, you're just there to do your best. And just because I was at the front compared to being at, at the back with Williams, it changed nothing and, and the goal was still the same, just drive as fast as I can, simple as that. Will Russell have a go down into turn one? No is the answer, he might think about it into turn four because he's surely close enough. I knew Valtteri would be the hardest driver to overtake because he was obviously in the same car as me and as soon as I saw that opportunity he ran a bit wide and I got the switch back, you know, I was just absolutely flat out and I was like, right, I need to get past him here. Russell's now going to have a go at him, and he goes past his teammate. George Russell overtakes Valtteri Bottas. That was committed. It was brave. It was brilliant. It was um, yeah, probably the best overtake I've ever done in Formula One. So that was 
yeah, pretty pretty special moment. Yeah, this was a key moment. This is obviously the the puncher. Looks like a rear left puncher. Looks like rear left puncher. That's George Russell's chance of a podium absolutely gone now. Uh, I don't know what to say. No, sharing, sharing your feelings there, mate. Let's just get your head down. We'll give this opportunity again. I, I hope we get this opportunity again. Thank you. Now, well done, mate. You really showed your mettle today. You really showed it. Good job. George, it's James. Notwithstanding the events of today, well done. You drove a solid race. Every time you were set back, you fought through. And uh, well done. George, I'm sorry for that. That was a brilliant, brilliant drive. Thank you. Thank you.